Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Life is good with DIYs. My name is Yvette and I love to do DIYs. If you haven't subscribed to this channel guys, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that bell button guys so it's my video you'll be notified. Alright guys, I hope you all having a great week, a great day, stay blessed and uh, join the family guys. Alright guys, well I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care, bye. Alright guys, well, I have another DIY for you guys tonight. It's a very simple DIY that I have for you guys. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you guys, I need, um, I've been wanting to do like um, a big like a vase, flower vase for my entryway where I have this long table and I've been wanting to get a vase for there but um, I didn't want to I wanted to do something like a nice big vase so I had these two containers um, here um, these containers are two together they stick them here together these are um, containers where breadcrumbs come in so what I did is I went ahead, I, I went ahead and I washed them and everything I let them dry and everything because they're like cardboard so what I did is I grabbed some E6000 and I added these two together so I glue them together so there's two containers in here you can see right here and I put the I left the top on the bottom this one doesn't have the top of course because this is gonna go this is where I want my flowers to go in so I went outside and I spray painted it white but you can spray paint anything you want um, instead of this um, instead of this going to the garbage I said I'm gonna be using this to do my base my flower base so this is what you're going to need and I have some beads right here. I have some pearls. I wanted to. I always, I always had um, visual myself having like a base, um, but with pearls and stuff. I do like pearls, guys. So I wanted to do something with pearls. So I have some today, and I have these Hobby Lobby pearls that I had purchased a while back at Hobby Lobby, and they're in color ivory. And these were purchased for two ninety nine, but I got them with they were like fifty percent off. So if you're looking for something like this. Go ahead and check out Hobby Lobby, guys. So I have these, and I have an ivory, and I have some in the color white. Um, and right now, I'm in debate what color I wanted. I was going to put it white, so I think I'm just. I, I was gonna put ivory. Um, I thought I, I wanted to put like an ivory color, but you know what? I decided I'm not gonna put the ivory. I'm just gonna go ahead and in with the white. So I am going to do it all white. And I'm going to do my trim white. So this is what I have, and I'm gonna put a little bit of um, a little bit of diamond wrap. You're gonna need some diamond wrap as well. Your scissors, your hot glue. So let's begin to let's begin this DIY, guys. Um, I'm very excited to be back on my channel, and I'm going to show you guys. Like I said, guys, for this it's very easy. What I did is I added two contain the two containers I added here, and you can see right here where I um. I put some hot glue and I mean hot glue. I'm sorry, E6000. I I added these two containers because I wanted something very long. Um, if you don't want to put beads on here, you can always do the twine too. I'm not really into the twine stuff. I don't like that. Um, I know like a lot of people like the farm decor stuff like that. You probably can do the twine if you want something like that. I'm that's not really my style. Um, but I want to do my more like glam. I like more glamorous stuff and everything. So that's what I'm gonna go for. But if you um, don't like like beads or something, you want to do it somewhere else, you can always do the twine too as well. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start getting my beads on here. And I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to be creating this. Very simple um, thing. You know, like I always, um, I always say guys, somebody's... Um, Somebody's um, junk can be your treasure. So, you know, my, 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 my mom was going to throw this away. And I said, don't throw it away. I can do something with it. And she's like, okay. So, you know. All right. So, I'm going to get I'm gonna go ahead and get my beads on here. Let's see if this focus. Okay. So, I'm going to start right here in the bottom. I think it's me. Like, you know what? I'm going to start on the top. I'm going to start on the top. Or you can start on the bottom. Whatever you think it's better for you. So, when you put the top. I'm gonna leave the I'm gonna leave the top right here. I'm not gonna put the top for here, but I did put the top on the bottom. So when you're gonna do if you are going to do this, I'm going to leave this top by itself for me. You'll see in the end why I'm gonna leave it like this. So I'm gonna start on top of the 
I'm going to start on top of the of the oh my gosh I'm making so much noise sorry I'm going to I'm going to start on top of this um top if you guys can hear like a lot of noise in the background I apologize right now I have my fan on because this room gets very very hot so I have to keep the fan on so I apologize if you hear the noise excuse me I know you probably can hear the fans here in my room. I guess I apologize. I think I need to get a smaller hot glue because this one it's so what I'm just gonna do is just gonna go ahead and sit my beads. When you do your first one, just make sure they're like nice and center your beads. You want them to be nice and centered. I'm just gonna cut it right here. I'm gonna cut it right there. Put some more hot glue here. there's how it's going to look okay so I'm gonna let this dry up the reason I told you I was not gonna start with that because my diamond wrap is going to go on here where the top is at um, this is where I, where I told you you can put like more um, beads if you want on here I'm not gonna do it I want some bling bling to this because you guys know me if you guys have been following me since the beginning you know I like my stuff to be nice and blinged out so I'm gonna head and head and go put some diamond wrap but I will leave that alone till the last minute so I'm gonna show you guys I am going to do another line and I will I'm gonna cover this up all of it and I'm gonna show you guys another line and then um, so you guys can see how I'm gonna be doing this um, like I said you can go ahead and go keep going but to me it's gonna be it's just gonna be easier for me to cut some of this because this is just gonna be too much for me. So I'm gonna cut some of this bead once more again. And I'm just gonna do the same thing I did. I am, I'm gonna, sorry. I'm gonna bring it a little bit down so you guys can see what's going on. This camera to focus. So I'm just going to show you guys exactly what I'm going to be doing. I'm gonna be doing the same, exactly the same thing again. Putting the beads right on top of each other. So if you, so I would advise you to um, color these cans because these cans come in like brown color. I don't know what is this thing going. Why is this thing moving so much? You guys gonna do this project just make sure you um color your can because it's you know it's brown and everything so whatever color you decide to um paint this i mean what color beads you're gonna put it on there just make sure you um go ahead and spray paint it or paint it whatever you want to decide what color you want to put on this so i'm just gonna go ahead and put some glue on here This thing is moving so much 
so so much so this is I'm, I'm just doing this let me cut this exactly right here I'm trying to keep focusing because this can this can is keeps moving straight Just make sure everything's nice and center. See, so just keep going. Um, so we're just gonna keep going to the top. All right, guys. So this is how it started to look. I put some diamond wrap right in the bottom where I told you with the. The top is closed and I put some diamond wrap and I went ahead and I put all my beads on here. So with the two um jars, not the jars with the two um like hands. Yeah, where they meet, I'm going to put some diamond wrap right here. You see, so you won't see this ugly stuff right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put two layers, two layers of diamond wrap right around it right here. Put some hot glue on here, and I'm just going to wrap this up right here. Okay. Okay, so I put the demo wrap right there where they meet. Um, I'm going to go ahead and keep going. I have to still do the top part. I'm going to bring you guys up a little higher. So you guys can see. Oh, sorry. So I still have to work on this top right here. I did the white here, but I then I decided that I'm going to go ahead and put some um, of this ivory one. I wanted to do two colors. I decided to do that. But if you're going to do this, you can go ahead and do one color. But I, my personal thing, um, thing I like, I wanted to do the, I want to do this pearl. Um, I did the, I did the white on the bottom, and I'm gonna do some ivory on the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and just finish the top, and I guys, and I'll right back so you guys can see how this is looking. Um, yeah. So what I did, you see, guys. So I'm gonna do the top one here, on top the same way. I'm just gonna be using this ivory i'm gonna go keep going and i'll be right back all right guys so this is what i'm gonna be doing right here i'm just gonna go ahead over the diamond wrap i'm gonna put my other beads in here so that's all i'm gonna do so i'm just gonna put some hot glue on here so you guys can see make sure you don't put hot glue on your diamond wrap because you don't want that so to be very careful the first line you do so what i'm just gonna do is i'm gonna go my beads over the diamond wrap and it's gonna look something like this so i'm gonna go ahead and finish all this and i'll be right back so you guys are gonna see so that's all i'm gonna do is i'm gonna keep going um and i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up and i'll be right back all right, guys. So this is my final project for tonight. As you can see, guys, I did put the white pearls right here. Um, I put some diamond wrap here where they meet, and I put the ivory on top, and I put some diamond wrap um, right here. And I really, really love this, guys. I know um, it has a white and it has the uh, white and ivory, and I really love how I combine these two, guys. I'm so in love with this big vase uh i just can't believe that something that i was my mom was gonna throw away it was it became my treasure and these are the flowers that i i put on here guys but you can put any flowers you decide to put i really really love this project guys it was 
it is a little bit time consuming because I have to cut the I had to cut the pearls and everything put them on here but it was worth it it was worth it I really love it and everything it was worth it guys and those are my flowers and like I said you can put any flowers you decide I really loved it um, like I always say her junk is my her her junk was my treasure and I really love this um, you know, it's something that was going to be thrown away in the garbage and everything, guys. But I'm going to show you guys a final um, picture where I'm going to set this up and how I'm going to set it up. So you guys can see the final, final project, how it looks. Um, maybe you can't see it good here, but I'm going to show you guys a couple of pictures how I'm going to set this in my living room. Alright, guys. Well, that is it for tonight. I hope you guys have enjoyed this um, small tutorial and I hope to see you guys in my next video. And if you please, if you did like this, guys, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, guys. This helps me, me and my channel out, guys. Well, guys, I hope you having a wonderful night. I hope to see you guys in my next video. If you're not subscribed to this channel, guys, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's a little red subscribe button. And hit the post notification, guys. So every time I, I upload a video, you'll be notified. And don't forget to like, uh, to give a to leave a comment down below, guys. And what else? What else? Oh, yes, guys. I do have another channel, guys, where I, I a channel with my daughter. I hope you guys check it out. I will leave down in the description box my channel with my daughter. It's called Yvette and Crystal, Crystal and Yvette's uh, channel, guys. I'm going to leave it down in the description box. And I wanted to share, guys. My mom has opened her channel. It's a cooking channel. My mom just has, she just opened it maybe like not even a month ago. So if you guys are looking for some recipes or something like that, go ahead and check her channel out, guys. I will leave, I will link down my mom's channel too so you can go her, check her out. And check out our other channel, guys, where if you want to know a little bit more about what I'm, what am I doing and what's going on with me, guys, I will leave down our other channel so you can go and check us out. It gives us some, if you're supporting me here and everything, guys, I hope you can go out there and, and support me and my other channel with my daughter. And, guys, if you're not following me on Instagram, guys, let's go ahead and be friends on Instagram because before I post anything here on YouTube, I usually post everything first on Instagram so you'll be first to know what next project I'm going to be working on. Okay, guys, well, I hope you all having a wonderful night. I will see you guys in the next one. Stay blessed, and I will see you soon. Bye, guys. Take care.